this is Lydia Seebeck, the Rogue Agronomist, with a follow-up suggestion video. In a previous video, I was talking about Munsell values and color of soil. I did not really talk about how long it took to get from the pale native soil I have to a darker fertile soil. And a great lady, Karen, pointed that out to me. She's absolutely right and gladly. I'm going to go ahead and add on to this. Here's the story. In America, we love our instant solutions. 1995, touch list. We're working with Mother Nature here. Hold your horses. So, in Mother Nature's terminology, a 500-year-old soil is still a new soil. Fortunately, we as gardeners have the ability to work on a faster time scale than that by what we do to our soil. However, we still are looking at years, not months, not weeks, not days. Three to five years is probably your bare minimum to really start getting some soil texture and soil biology reestablished in even a reasonably fertile soil that perhaps you purchase at a garden center and then pour into your raised beds. Even then you've got reestablished biology, you've got to get your texture started, and that's three to five years. Now if you are like me <laughs> and your initial soil was far less than ideal, five to even eight years is more like it because not only are you reestablishing biology and texture, you have to start another level down, which is getting some organic matter going in the soil and getting enough nutrient holding capacity that the biology and the texture can then follow. It's another iteration of uh, amending that you have to do to your soil. Then there's the special needs soils out there. They've been abused in some way. There's been a really severe fire that's ravaged that land or they've been doused with glyphosate for many years. I remember one lady in Maryland who had been trying to rehabilitate a soil that had been heavily doused with glyphosate and she was having barely any luck three or four years in with having any plants survive whatsoever. It can be a really toxic combination at times when the biocides add up in the soil. And that was definitely the case for her soil. She's probably looking at, well, at the time we were speaking, she was probably looking at about another 10 years to get to a fertile soil. Even with all her knowledge, which was quite extensive. So it depends on your soil and your situation. If you're looking at a relatively fertile soil to begin with, three to five, an infertile soil, five to eight, and a special needs soil, it can be longer yet again. There's your answer. Have a great day, and I'll see you on another episode. Goodbye.